Hello and welcome to chapter 1 on creating an anthropomorphic character. I am Lucan Kalvinen. In this chapter we will be taking this concept art that I made and turning it into a 3D sculpt which we will then later on retopologize, texture, rig and animate and then make a final turnaround for a presentation. Let's begin. Okay, let's get started. So I like to delete everything from the scene. Second, I would like to enable my screencast key so you guys can see what I'm clicking. Now you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm sorry if I don't talk a lot. I just had my wisdom teeth removed and it's still quite sore to talk. Anyway. So sorry if I'm not talking a lot. Or clearly mouth still hurts. First things first. Let's set up our character reference sheets. So in the folder I'll be giving you guys, just go to character sheets and then go to front, change it from all views to front, come back one, okay there we have a front reference sheet, if I'm not mistaken, it's at 4.5, we can line it up nicely with the line there. Cool. Then let's add another image. Open the character sheet and then side and again 4.5. And we want this one to be visible only from the Pads. Okay, now I'm going to split my screen. Let's see if it's back. And I'm going to save this as character modeling. This is about the fourth or fifth time I'm doing this video. Every time the, the, record, the cam studio is just being annoying and doesn't want to save the video, so I'm just hoping that it goes well this time. Okay, what are we going to do in this part is we're going to make a base mesh for us to sculpt on. So we're not really worried about the topology in this or how the stuff or how the polygons flow across the model, we will all be doing all that when we're doing the retopology. So we just want a basic mesh for us to sculpt on. So we're going to start off with a box, a cube, move it to the face. We're also going to be modeling the face and body separately and then attaching them later, just due to the fact how I to my reference images or a little messed up which are just hold on the dog okay sorry about that I know what the dog's problem was it has food and water just for much flex anyway so due to how I drew the picture you can't actually see the neck and that's going to pose a problem for us when we go into our sculpting because we won't be able to get that neck detail in for when we rig the character and he moves his head up and down if we didn't sculpt in the geometry or the model does not actually have the neck it's going to make us very difficult for us to rig the character and get all that done so if you I'm also getting a little sick, it's winter here by us. If you look at the pig, 
his head goes straight into the body and the neck is here and his face is looking forward whereas with a humanoid character the character is next going down and the character is facing forward so what we are going to do is we're going to do our base mesh for the head and then rotate it facing up as in how the pig should look and then later on when we rig it we will just tilt his head back into this position then we know that we have all the geometry there and that you understand when, when I get there also this reference is just a guide you do not have to strictly follow it 100% we just want to get the basic form and volume of this so if the image planes don't line up exactly it's, it's okay we will we'll win and this will also show you how to problem solve and I'm not blaming my bad drawing skills I'm gonna learn how to problem solve and that so let's get to it let's go into your edit mode and let's begin first of all I want to cut this in half so I only have to model one side and then a mirror modifier will basically do the other half of the model for us add our mirror modifier on and enable flipping. So now when I do one side it will do the same on the other side. Basically what we want. And let's begin. So we just roughly want to start getting a shape in here. Just, just roughly. This mesh is going to be quick, dirty, we just want something for us to sculpt on. I'm gonna be following the right side more than the left. So let me just, just for now, move. I'll move it back at the head and the body for some reason when I drew them, I didn't draw them completely center with one another. Alright, let's screw all that. Made this mistake the first time I recorded. B. What I want to actually do is I want to rotate this to more closely follow where the head is rotated. I did the same thing the other time and then it just didn't work out that well. And then it's the third time I started doing it this way and it worked out slightly a bit better for me. So grab these points them in maybe there and then put the head well through there and if you my friend you can just I'll flip that still selected control up move over here control up scale Match there. Scale you to match there. And do the same. Scale. There. Okay, at the moment it looks. Let's start adding to it. Start building up that shape. And a another one.
putting that in. And let's start. If you're wondering why I'm not putting it exactly over there, it's because <coughs> if you look at this reference, the tusks only start front. So as we extrude this forward, we can start adding in the tusks instead of adding them in here. We should leave the bar already in place. And then we'll get to a few more bit more as well. We're still gonna pull the points a bit because it's pretty hard to see at the moment exactly what we want these to do in these rough early stages. We just want the ship. We just want our shape for now. Okay, cool. Great. So let's now grab these, those, those. And I'm going to extrude this front. Get up down. Roughly into the position I want. As you can see there we've got the rough approximation of what <coughs> you want that shape to be looking like. From the side, it's starting to look okay. Getting a very boxy looking faces. You see that? Yeah. 